How's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Firefox browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, what you have to do is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get Downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, go to Search on the Fire Stick and then you start entering Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So you click on it, and that's the app that you gotta get to your Fire TV Stick device. But after you get Downloader, it is not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually set up the app, you'll have to go to Settings on your Fire Stick by clicking this button with a gear icon. After that, you scroll down until you find My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here now, you have to turn on developer options on your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me, at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case, and in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and now from here, what you have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick which is located right here, we'll open it, and here's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire TV Stick. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say you have a connect to Bilgeum right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone, or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with free months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the downloader safely. So we go straight back to the list of apps on your device and open up Downloader. Then just wait a bit until the app finally opens for you. And now here, what we have to do is open that search bar and start typing in the code, which will be 742194. So once again, 742194, that's the code you have to enter. Click on Go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, 
and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now the load of the app has started, usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Then click on install and wait a bit until Firefox gets installed to your Fire Stick. Usually it does not take long. And after it is installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default, your Fire Stick does not really have too much of free space available anyway. And now, if you go to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick, here it is. Let's open it. And there is the Firefox browser, which we just installed. So now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, the browser will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And then you can enter the web browser, scroll down, and here you'll see an option to browse the internet. You can enter any link, let's say we go to google.com, click on next, and here we are. Though I would recommend you to use a Bluetooth mouse connected to your Fire Stick for a better user experience, because without a mouse it would be quite difficult to use this web browser. So enjoy and see you next time, bye bye.